lovely viewer, it's Lena here with another oil painting time lapse. Much like most of my recent work, I have started out with an underpainting and burnt sienna just to get some basic shapes and tones down before applying colors. And if you're curious about underpaintings, I do have a video I made where I talk a bit more about that and show you some of the underpaintings I've made for other paintings and just took footage from time lapses. So I'll link that in the description. Check it out if you're interested. If you watched my Sketchbook Sunday series, you might have seen the episode where I sketched a rough study of this painting with charcoal, but now I decided to commit much more time to this image with oil paint, so that's what you're watching today. With a lot of my paintings, I like to play with unconventional cropping and break some composition rules. I don't always want to paint a full face, and I feel like when you don't see the face in full, I think it almost gives the subject a bit more anonymity, which might allow the viewer of the art to have more room for their own interpretation or even to see themselves more in the work. Though that's not the purpose of why I crop my paintings in weird ways, I do feel like that it's something that can possibly result from that. But to me, cropping the painting in unconventional ways makes the work more interesting for me and even a bit challenging because I can't completely anchor my vision based on the total face. It's a different way of proportioning the subject. And sometimes it's just more fun to do something different than, you know, a specific guideline. I don't always want to follow guidelines for art or life or anything. So I'm just like, screw it. I'm going to crop my painting in a weird way and you can't do anything about it. <laughs> Also, if you would like to see a real-time version of this painting along with footage of my palette as I mix colors for this piece, I will be posting that to my Patreon page and there's a whole bunch of other videos in real time and just behind the scenes bonus footage where I talk about my colors, my palette, everything behind the process. I also send out hand-signed postcards to my patrons every single month. They are printed with a different painting of mine each time, a lot of which are not available as prints or won't be available as prints or are sold out works. So the painting in this video will be printed on June's postcard and if you'd like to receive that postcard in June, be sure to pledge before the end of May. And thank you so much for your pledges and support of my work. This painting, much like the vast majority of my other paintings, has flowers, and I've already talked about this before, but nature is my favorite subject, and all things nature inspire me unlike anything else. I tend to find solace in being out in the woods or when I'm gardening, and it's something that I'm very passionate about. I'm actually about to move into a house very soon and I will be able to have a veggie and flower garden again which I couldn't have in my old apartment due to lack of sunlight. Um, although I think Florida has a very tricky climate so I'm a bit nervous about growing certain plants but hopefully my green thumb will prevail. And if you've watched a while I've shared my veggie garden in past videos a, a few years back. Now back to the painting. The girl is holding flowers and to me it's kind of like a symbol of finding comfort in the beauty of nature and sort of the way that she's holding them, but that's just my own interpretation. I don't want to attach too much meaning to the art or explain too much behind it because I do want the viewer to still be able to find their own meaning and their own interpretation of my art. So. I feel like a lot of times I usually don't share too much backstory, but I did want to share just a little bit. And I'm sure you already kind of knew, if, especially if you've been around for a while. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this painting time lapse. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a beautiful week.